the first person who escaped the cage will be declared the winner. First, former NWA, AWA, and WWF superstar. He is one man of the Against his former tag team partner Shawn Michaels back in 1993. And this man might one day be destined for a position in the Hall of Fame. And Rage has to watch out. There's the fist drop. And Marty Janetti, who has been wrestling for decades now. It's taking the hurt to rage again with another fist drop. The master of the swinging neck breaker, the super kick, sunset flip, snap suplexes, sleeper holds, cross body blocks. You're talking about a man that can do it all and still does it to this day. And look at Janetti. He's got reach exactly where he wants him. Uh oh, the knee smashed right up against the chest cavity of Marty Janetti as he's folded over in pain. Double axe handle by Rage. One of the longest reign heavyweight champions in history. And who would have thunk that we would see Janetti and Rage in a cage? Rage is Levitt. He didn't want to be put in this environment. He had to be dragged to the ring by multiple megastars. Kennedy crashes back first into the turnbuckle pads and collapses in pain. Generally, steel cage matches are among one of the most dangerous matches in all of wrestling. Janetti shaking and trembling in pain and coughing. Rage stands firm, plants his feet, elevates, and a drop kick, and Janetti's head whiplashed off of the side of the cage. or climbing over the top of the cage to the floor. And Marty Gennetti quickly, as fast as he could, got back to his feet and grabbed 
the behind of Rage and threw him backwards to prevent him from climbing out. Rage meeting each of the four sides of this spring. And Rage tumbles and falls. Now, Marty Gennetti trying to place his head wherever the Lego bricks will fit. Oh, what a big elbow there to the top of Rage's head. And each and every one of these shots taking their effect and giving Rage a huge, humongous headache. Gennetti picking apart Rage one shot at a time. J.H. Schmidt, the referee of this historic cage match at IUWA's last ride as Gennetti collides right into the big boot of Rage in the corner. Rage does not like anything about Chicago Heights. He could care less about the fans, and there's nothing that this man would like more than to take Gennetti and to feed him here tonight in a cage and possibly claim that he was the one that ended his career. Oh my! Rage's head smashes into the steel cage and the fence. Twisting and twerking left wrist until Rage can't stand it anymore. Snaps it multiple times, brings the wrist behind the back, and proceeds to drop multiple knees to the wrist and the forearm of Rage. J.H. Smith checking carefully to make sure that Rage can continue. But submissions don't matter. Pinfalls don't count. There are no disqualifications. It's the first man to escape, and this brutality will only continue until one has escaped, and the other will remain inside of this steel structure for good. Gennady hit him with such force multiple times that he felt the impact as it just totally went right up within each and every muscle of his right leg. Leaping, fist drop again. Rage cannot afford to take too many of those. Look at this intimidating structure. This cage has got to be 20 feet high. Whoever tries to climb out of this cage over the top could suffer a catastrophic fall. Marty Gennetti. Introducing Rage's head to as many parts of this ring as possible. And the fans are enjoying every second of it. Rage nearly tombstoned the living daylights on AKW. Head first into the corner of the cage. And Rage is down and out. Gennetti now prepares, straddles, opens up the legs and the groin as he prepares to deliver. Oh, you're gonna have to go. Oh my! Rock, rock till you drop, and he just dropped that leg right all over the cucumber and blueberries of rage. and the strawberries. This guy's got to go grocery shopping. Oh, that elbow is really down deep and below. The
the belt. Rage looks like a pumpkin that got squashed or chopped in half. Past the legs, twisted and torqued here. Grabs the top rope for extra measure. Oh, a knee smash! Oh, for heaven's sakes. Now we heard about that juicer in the infomercials for $29.95. I didn't know it does that. My goodness. Except for a bathtub of ice cubes. He's gonna have kibbles and bits down there. Has he had enough? like that, you might as well. I've never seen anyone take this much abuse down below before. A succession of eight to ten shots down below. I think Janetti's wondering. Oh, he stepped all over his goodies. Little Debbies are half off now. Well, Janetti wants the referee to uh, check to see if he, he still got his. Oh, it happened again! And from the frying pan into the fire. He's running out of. He's running out of nerve endings down there. He might have to have a procedure done to get feeling back. What is Schmidt doing? He should not be that close to, to Rage's... No, that's, that's not necessary. Rage looks like a mess. I think he's going to need a cleanup in aisle four. He needs some baby wipes, all right. I think he just made a boom boom in the, in the middle of the ring. Janetti now slowly helping Rage back to his feet. This is a nice gesture, of course. He elevates the, oh, atomic drop. Rage is hopping around like a bunny rabbit, going through the tulips. And Rage is down again. And Rage is crying. I think Rage is going to be singing uh, a new tune when this is over with. Marty Gennetti having too much fun in that ring. This is what the cage match was all about. To keep all the negativity out and to keep all of Gennetti's excitement and enthusiasm inside. Rage's bananas have split. And I don't know uh, how many desserts he's got left down there, but uh... Oh, an elam! What effect did each and every one of those... Oh my goodness, he dug his toe right down below and he shook it! the rocker tickler right there. Gennetti slowly brings Rage back to his feet and he can barely stand. Rage looks like a discolored gummy bear in there. He's falling apart. Oh, 
Oh, he's got him. Trinetti's down! The fun and games are over now, and Rage walks out of here. He's had enough. But I don't know if he can even straddle his legs to get out of this cage. Oh, he can't W! Close the cage door on Rage's head! The super kick by Trinetti! Encouraged by what he just seen. Genetti from leaving for a moment, but he saw in his peripheral vision, Genetti did, that Rage got back to his feet, head first into the top tier of the cage. Left hand and a jab, and over the top hook, Genetti trying to, oh no, EKW didn't even see that, and she just closed the cage door right on Genetti's head. What? Are you kidding me? It's all over! And your winner, Rage! That was the damnedest thing I've ever seen in my life! EKW just screw Marty Janetti, and she doesn't even know it! Rage has just done the unthinkable! He has won the Kings match! And Marty Janetti is hurt and banged up in the middle of the ring! Oh, this is the saddest moment I've ever seen! Oh, Rage hasn't had enough yet! He wants revenge!